Flynn and I are back for another exciting episode of Built It. And today, we're gonna to meet with Murray Frank, a very good buddy of mine of Building It Right, to learn about wall assemblies used to build a high performance home. Now, walls may seem like a simple concept, but there's much more to it than meets the eye. From exterior insulation on the outside of a building to European tilt and turn windows and doors, the latest building science is being used to create quieter, healthier homes that keep the elements outside where they belong. It's like putting on a quality jacket on your home and the walls are the key to controlling your home's inside environment. Follow me and I'll see you over at Building It Right. Welcome to our playhouse. Uh, I've been pretty anxious about coming out here. Um, you know, we have the, the homeowner that we're working with together on this net zero project, and uh, I'm excited to learn more. I'm excited to extend my education, if you will. There's a lot of technology I want to know about because I want to be able to embrace this next step in, in my career, honestly. So uh, you're going to show me around some of this new stuff today. Show me the tour. Give me an idea of how all this technology comes together to make me another beautiful award-winning home. <laughs> Come on in, let's all right. have a look. Let's start the tour. The real story is in, in single family residential construction, we've basically done the same thing for over hundred years. We have, yeah. You know, the big advancement in, in the eighties was we went from two by four to two by six. Yep. That wasn't structural. That was so we could stuff more pink stuff, stuff in the more walls, pink stuff right? in, absolutely. And, uh, and, and it satisfied a requirement. Ironically, it also, took away a lot of the heat flow that was going through those buildings. And so for really complicated examples, like four story wood frame condos, a little taller, a little more weather exposure, a little less overhang, yeah. it broke the camel's back. Yeah. We weren't Agreed. getting the same level of drying. So we have to be extremely aware that as we move forward to 2030 with net zero for energy, you know, in a way oversimplified conversation, these homes are more than twice as energy efficient. Yeah, so we're, you know, we're taking into account, of course, air ventilation, air exchange, insulation, as opposed to someone just trying to quick fix, we're just gonna make these walls thicker, stuff a bunch of insulation in, right. and then they've you know, had other problems occur, lack of ventilation, Un -un moisture retainment. Right, yeah, so, so we're creating a completely controlled environment, so we have to control the complete environment. We don't accidentally is, vent it, right? We this is awesome, this is really amazing actually, because I feel like every time I talk to you, yeah. I'm learning a little bit more. All right, what are we looking at first, big man? Right. And what we're really trying to show here is uh, use of different materials far more attention to the transition details between walls and, and roof assemblies. Got it. Um, we're looking at the fact that this really lends itself to new insulation strategies where we put the insulation outside, uninterrupted, okay. so we don't lose the energy through all the studs and the framing. It's really not the best place to insulate inside the wall. It's, it's much more efficient to use the materials if we put them outside. But of course, now you've created depth around where your windows go, and so we have to look forward to what impact that has on what kind of window and where it sits wow. in the opening and how we get continuity of that membrane that separates these environments. All I want to show you right here is, uh, despite your best efforts, there's some pretty common areas where we look for leakage. All we're doing is just introducing, because it's pressurized in there, we're now introducing a little blast of theatrical smoke and that allows us just to visualize where those air leakage points are. You can see smoke pluming out of classic detail locations, all part of the installation. So over here we've got a window installation detail. Something that's a little less common from old school, as you'll see there's no seals at the outside. All of the seals are on the inside. So we want to create that seal and that ultimately the point where the air pressure changes to the very inside so that even if we get a little bit of rainwater into here, there's no airflow that can draw that water to the place where the seal is. This is really exciting stuff. I gotta <laughs> tell you, Marie, I, I, every time I come down here, I'm amazed at how much new stuff you tackle, man. We have fun. And uh, this is a testimony to the team of professionals that we got involved here and the collaboration that we get from industry. We're right. with all the big engineering architectural houses, Government, Homeowner Prote uh, Protection Office, now BC Housing. Yeah. Being a part of the Haven and the, and the, and the CHBA community out there, uh, we're in that privileged position where we're educating. Well, we're listening while talking. Yeah. So when builders come in and say, ah, 
it gives us the the uh, I guess the desire to go out and well, well the boots how, on the how, ground how attitude, how can we right? Deal with that, right? If you look at it as a layperson, like any old construction site, you've got the yeah. framing of the roof trusses coming out. I don't know that most people would even recognize the fact that that insulation goes all the way past to the top of the and plate then now, all the way across the roof, and so you do all of that. Then you add the architecture on, so you're not compromising the look and function of your building, just making it way more buildable for you. And although these materials cost more money, they're costing less to put into play. And no one would actually know the difference. Once this is all cladded and the soffits are in, you'd never know that we'd gone the extra mile oh, to at, add that extra comfort. At the end of the comfort. day, these houses look like, like we're used to and the way you want. So it's Designers actually easier for me to build. Yeah. So it's more efficient, yeah. it's cost effective, right. and the consumers in the end get all the benefits of the energy efficient home, a well-built home, airtight, uh, we've got energy much, efficiency. Much greater acoustic separation from the outside world, so yeah. traffic noise, neighbor noise. Because everything we know about building a house is about to change. Kind of but like the local. deliverable is a vastly superior home, and we can actually do this within the same sort of affordability parameters that we're at right now. We're not going to add to the cost of construction, we're just going to do things smarter and better there is cost efficiencies in building to this higher level of code because although maybe they're a little bit more cost up front it's like buying a really nice car you know you know you buy that really nice car it lasts you 20 years it's the same thing with home technologies you spend the time research hire an educated builder go through the proper you know understanding of what's going into your home and eventually that home starts to pay you back so really what it comes down to is we have no design limitations you can build whatever home you want, because the technology is here to support that dream. The important thing here is, is to hire yourself a good builder who's taking the time to educate himself. Assemble that team that knows their technologies. It takes all the worries off. You can have an energy efficient home that's got some cool architectural features. The technology's there. I'm telling you, you don't have to be afraid. Go the extra mile and build that amazing home. So Murray, I really gotta thank you. The amount I learned today was absolutely phenomenal. Like watching everything that you put into the, all the tests for the envelope and the water and the smoke and, and it all looks like a lot of fun and it is a lot of fun, but of course there's so much for us to learn as builders. And I think this is the point I got to really drive home. And you know, it goes right back to the homeowners at the end, a better home and all we got to do is educate ourselves. So that's all homeowners really got to do is look for that builder that's willing to you know, take that step to, to be educated and educate himself on the new products. Yeah, let's not learn by accident at the expense of houses out there. Let's make the accidents and the boo-boos in here and, yeah. and let's build with confidence and uh, technology transfer is our passion, for sure. Oh, yeah, uh, you know, and we're in an exciting time right now. We can deliver a better product for equal or less money than we're currently building yeah. and, uh, and not compromise the, the aesthetics of the building and certainly, you know, not compromising comfort. We're up in the, the ante there too, so it's yeah. been fun. Well, I'm really excited that I can call you a friend and you've been teaching me for a long time and I look forward to learning many more valuable lessons with you, buddy. Absolutely, bud. Thanks, Thanks, pal. We'll see you for dinner soon. Yeah, you will. All right. Thank you very much.